Today I'm looking at the Carla Mini. It's a handheld battery powered red light therapy device. This is from a company called Carla who are based in Canada. I've had a lot of re requests to review their products, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. Hey guys, Alex here from AlexFigures.com and yes, I have a Carla Therapy Carla Mini. This is the first of hopefully a, hopefully a couple of uh, reviews I do from this company. Uh, they are a relatively new company. They were founded in 2020, so it's at two years old. Uh, they're based in Canada, founded by two friends who were both quite high up in their sporting careers or sporting endeavors. And um, they were utilizing red light therapy for their own performance and recovery and you know, soon realized like many of us that this technology is pretty neat. And of course they went on and set up their own companies. So they currently sell four different products. Their Mini, which I have right here, which is obviously the one I'm reviewing in this video. Uh, they have a tabletop version, which I hope to review later on this year as well. So be sure to subscribe if you want to check that out. And then they've got their Elite Body Panel. Um, you can also order their quad setup, which is four of those body panels. They cover the basics, I guess. Uh, and if you head over to their website, you also see that they sell stands and um, a light therapy device as well, which is kind of neat. Other than the time I've spent on their website, I don't know too much about the company or their products. Um, I've had a lot of people ask over the last few months, hey, what do you think of these guys? And I wasn't too sure. So I have got all my uh, gizmos and gadgets out and I will be doing a full test on the Carla Mini. If you haven't already seen my 2021 handheld comparison series, in that video I compared, I think it was about six handheld battery powered devices, ranked them from best to worst. Um, so what I will be doing at the end of this video is sharing how this particular product today would, uh, would compare to some of the winners in that series. So be sure to hang around for that. All right, let's get into the review. Okay, so first things first, how much does this cost? Well, if you head over to Carla Red Light, uh, you will see that by default the prices are in Canadian dollars. Uh, if you select your shipping country to be America, then it does convert it to US dollars. So I'm going to use US dollars here today. Uh, the the standard retail price is 277 US dollars, which works out to be about 350 Canadian dollars. Now the the team from Carla have given me a code to share with you guys. That code is Alex A L E X. That will save you 10%. So that's pretty uh, pretty good saving, and that means that the price that you will pay will be $250, which is which is okay, which is what you'd sort of expect for a handheld device. They also do free uh, shipping to Canada and America, and when I tested other shipping options, all I saw was Canada, America, Mexico, and then New Zealand. And I think New Zealand was added just so I could get this device here um, to, to test today. So I'm not too sure if they're gonna be rolling out more uh, international shipping options or if they're just staying to the Northern America, North America um, countries for now. Okay, let's go have a closer look at the unit and also the accessories that come with it. It comes in a nice, nicely packaged box like so. Uh, when we open it up, you will see you get a user manual, which is actually oh, pretty good for uh, a small panel. Uh, it's a little bit about the product itself, um, about red light therapy and the benefits, how to use it, which was kind of useful because it took me a while to figure out how to use it. Um, there's only one button on it. I will get to operation soon. Uh, some technical information. What else? Maintenance and frequently asked questions and yeah not a bad um not a bad instruction manual i will give them that uh you've also got a, a carry pouch a branded pouch which is which is kind of neat you get a couple of stickers um you'll see here uh, you've got a little bit about the product and a barcode if you want to scan that and then of course we've got the product and the charging cable. So um, comes with a USB-C charging port and charging cable. And then um, of course the power plug. Well, I shouldn't say of course, because some companies leave this part out. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have a New Zealand plug, so I can't use this unless I use an adapter, but I'm not too worried because USB-C is kind of like the standard these days. I'm sure I've got lots of, lots of those hanging around. It weighs 1.3 pounds, which is about 600 grams. It's six inches tall, four inches ac across, 
and one and a half inches thick, which is a little bit bigger than most of the um, handheld red light therapy devices that I have reviewed. Um, the Mido Flex, I think, was a similar width. Oh, sorry, a similar yeah width, but not quite as thick. Um, the Juve Go is probably comparable to this, but we'll talk about some of those other devices later. It's not it's not too big though. Like you can hold it in one hand. Though if you're quite small with smaller hands, you may find it's a bit of a stretch. Um, it's quite sharp edges on the back as well. It's, it's rounded at the, at the, on the face here. But of course, you're not holding it that way unless you're treating your hands. You're probably going to be holding it like so. So um, yeah, it would have been nicer if they were a little bit smoother there because I, I do feel that sharpness in my hand. Uh, you've got some air vents on the side, another one down the bottom, and then um, some branding on the back which is all neat. And then on the top, if we come in close here, we have the control unit, control panel, I guess. Uh, you've got your USB-C plug here, um, and then you've got a, a battery power indicator. So to enable that, you just press this, there's only one button, which is this, the power button, um, which does everything. So you just press that once, and you'll see those lights um, come to life. So I'm full charge there, which is great. To turn it on, you actually have to hold that down for three seconds. There we go. And it fires it up. You'll see by default, it, can, it starts off with a 10 minute timer. To change that, you just tap it 15, 20, all the way down to five. Um, you can hear the fan whirring, so I will be testing the EMF levels to see if there's any uh, EMF coming from that fan. Um, and as you can see, well maybe you can't, let me turn it back off again. To turn it off, you hold the power down for three seconds, I think. Yep, there we go. So as you can see, there are 12 LEDs. These are both 660 and 850 nanometer LEDs. So you've got six of your 660 and six of your 850. Unfortunately, they're not dual ch chip like the Juve Go and the Mito Red um, Flex panel panels, which have both 660 and 850 in um, each of the LEDs. So that is a bit of a bummer. Um, what I will be testing is the power output soon as well. Oh, I should also mention uh, it comes with a one year warranty and a 30 day um, try, uh, return period. Okay, let's go test the EMF levels and the power readings. Okay, so I have my spectrometer here, uh, which is what I use to test the wavelength and power. I also have my Cornet EMF meter here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna test the wavelengths, I'm gonna test power radiance and the EMF levels. Uh, and then I'll report back to you with the figures. Okay, so good news. Uh, there was no issue on the EMF front, which is kind of to be expected with these um, handheld units. So that is good. Uh, with the power, uh, well first let's look at the light, we have uh, a peak red reading of 660 or 659 to be more precise, but that's okay. Uh, and then we see another, peak, so that's your red light. And then we see the near infrared peak over here, uh, which came out to be 855.7, which is the peak. So slightly high, usually I give companies a, a margin of error of five nanometers. So this is just out of that margin of error, um, but that's okay. It's not, it's not ridiculously um, concerning. So no dramas there. The peak power we had, uh, I got 32. Uh, we, I've stopped it here at 31.2, but um, I did see a 32 on there. So that's at six inches for combined power. To put that in perspective, I think the highest powered battery um, handheld devices that I tested last year were around 37. So 32 is, is great for six inches. Um, to put that in comparison with a body panel, uh, you know, a body panel at six inches might be 70, 80, or 90. So these aren't as powerful as the power, um, you know, wall powered uh, body panels, but you know, they're not competing on that front. It's, it's more the, the convenience and size factor that you're um, paying for here. One thing I didn't test was the sound output. Now there is a fan, I think it's just one fan in here, maybe two. It's not, it's not ear piercing loud, in fact it's rather quiet, but it's not annoying, so that's good. Uh, I have tested some handheld devices and they're completely silent. So yeah, if sound is an issue for you, that may be something that, um, you know, if you want to use it in a room that's completely 
quiet and still then that may be something that may turn you off the color but again it didn't bother me while i was using it and testing it okay so if you are in the market for a handheld battery powered red light therapy device and you're checking this out thinking oh this is kind of cool what are the uh, alternatives what are the other options that you should look at before buying this well first things first i would recommend you check out my 2021 red light therapy handheld series it's on youtube it's also on a blog over at alexfigs.com i'll put links to them below um that's where i tested all sorts of devices this wasn't around then or if it was it had just at the market or i wasn't aware of it i can't remember um so unfortunately i didn't have this back then but still check that out come back and watch this and then you can make more of an informed decision however i have picked two um uh, two potential rivals to this product one was the winner of that series it was the mito red mito flex and the other was is probably the most well-known red light therapy company that is the juve go i don't have them with me unfortunately but i can put some images up so you can see the difference so first things first let's compare the Carla Mini with the uh, the Mito Red Flex. So the Mito Red Flex is a little bit cheaper. You can get it for two hundred and thirty-seven dollars after using discount code Alex. Uh, so that's I don't know twenty dollars cheaper or a bit less than the Carla. So that's that's one thing going for it. They also do free shipping. It's also twelve LEDs. However, the Mito Red Flex has dual chip LEDs, so you're getting better coverage area if you're using say just red light. All of those LEDs are going to be putting red light out. Um, if you're using both red light and near infrared, you're going to get a better spread of light. Another thing is it's slightly slimmer as well. So that is, um, you know, another thing going for that panel. Next up, you have the Juve Go. The Juve Go is very expensive. All the Juve products are very expensive. They have a massive marketing campaign um, or marketing presence. And I guess you're paying for that. So it comes out to be $600 excluding taxes and shipping. So big money, right? You could buy two of these Carla Minis and still um, have, have change left over before you buy one Juve. The other thing with the Juve is it is a nice package. Uh, it is a nice panel. It's it's a plastic case instead of metal. Um, it's, it's just, yeah, it's got a built-in handle. The buttons are really nice. You do have to give Juve the credit there because they have designed something, you know, that is quite unique and is, is better than all the rest out there. Uh, it does have Bluetooth, so you can sync it with your phone and do some more advanced stuff. Do you need that? No, not really. Most people, including myself, are using devices like this uh, for when we're traveling, we just chuck it in your bag. Uh, for spot treatment, like if I've got a sore tooth, I can just hit my tooth when I'm um, you know, doing some work or, or watching a movie or something like that. We can take it to the gym uh, for warm up. You know, you can put it on near infrared only and um, target, you know, that sore knee, which is exactly what I've been doing recently. Um, or you can lend it out to someone, someone that wants to try red light therapy. You know, you just say, here, have this for the weekend and, and let me know how you go. Of all those things I mentioned, how nice the, the devices or Bluetooth and stuff doesn't really change anything. Um, the big thing for me when I'm buying when I'm looking at using a handheld device is how easy is it to hold? I often use the Mito Red Flex. That's the one that I use. We have two of them lying around the house, you know, one in the gym and one in my office. Like I grab them and they're, they're nice and small. They're easy to hold. Uh, and what I'm noticing even in this review as I'm holding and showing it to the camera, those rough edges on the back, they, you know, they are pretty, it's pretty uh, sharp, let's say. I mean, it's not going to cut you, um, but you know, it doesn't feel really nice in the hand, especially because it is quite a wider unit as well. So you're really having to grip it. Now, if I was having to shine it on my cheek for 20 minutes or 10 minutes, it's not gonna be sore. But again, if you've got some more hands, it may become a bit of an issue and you may find yourself, you know, leaning against the body. So yeah, those are two competing products to the Carla Mini. I'm not gonna say one's better than the other because I'd have to sit down and, and map them all out. There's nothing wrong with this in terms of, oh my God, don't buy it because of X. It's not overpriced. It's not too large. It's not too small. It's not underpowered or anything like that. It's not dangerous with EMF levels. So there's nothing that, that has me saying, hey, look, don't buy it. Um, it does everything you'll need it to do, which is exactly, exactly what you want. So, I mean, if you're in Canada, for instance, and you wanna buy local, then yeah, grab the Carla, Carla Mini. If you're in America, then maybe check out the other ones before you buy this. And again, I'm not saying buy the other ones before this. I'm just, just saying, hey, be a smart consumer and make sure you look at all your options. I am affiliated with Carla, so if you use discount Alex, I get a bit of a kickback. It's the same with the other companies as well. Um, so keep that in mind, I guess. 
Uh, I do like the the packaging. I do like the uh, bag and you know all that sort of stuff that comes with it. The menu is really good. So if you're new to red light therapy or you're buying this for a gift for someone, maybe you know a lot about red light therapy and you want to buy a gift, you know, a couple hundred bucks. You want to buy it for your your mom or or you know your granddad has got a sore back um, or a sore tooth or something. It could be a great gift idea because that manual does a good job not only of explaining um, how to use it but a bit about red light therapy, the benefits, the differences between the lights. So I do like that. I think that's a nice little touch. Plus it's, um, it's nicely packaged. Some products I, I test uh, just come in a box straight from the courier company and there's a bit of foam in it and there's a, pro a product in there and it's a bit like you know, if that was a gift, it would feel a little bit cheap. So I think um, as a gift idea, great. If you're looking for a battery powered handheld red light therapy device, again, no, no issues here. Just make sure you do look at the uh, other options. If you have any questions or if there's something I've missed or you want me to review another product, uh, leave all the questions, comments below. Again, if you want to purchase this unit, be sure to use discount code Alex. It will save you 10%, which is great. If you want me to review more Carla products such as their tabletop or their, their body panel, um, yeah, again, leave me a comment on that and be sure to subscribe because you'll be the first to see any upcoming reviews. All right, guys, that's it for me. Bye.